Hi everybody, I'm back and uh, we watched a movie real quick so I, I thought I would make a couple videos for you guys. So um, anyway, I'm going to open my a couple more windows in the advent calendar. I'm expecting some deliveries to come but they didn't come today. I don't think they deliver on packages on Saturday. Anyway, so uh, let's get going with this. Uh, I can't remember where we stopped. This one looks like 11. Um, so I'll move over so you can see. I think that's the Benetint where we stopped. No, this is a black eyeliner. Yeah, so that's where we stopped. This is a uh, waterproof. Yeah, so that's going to be, this is Bad Gal Liner. I showed how, and it's still on my hand, if you guys can believe that. That's crazy. Through a shower and all the hand washings, that is crazy. Can you see the where I put it on there and swatched it? Can you imagine putting this on your eyes? Oh my goodness. And trying to get it off. That is crazy. I mean, it goes on so light. Let's see. Look, look at how light it goes on. You can barely touch. I mean, that's nice when you're applying eyeliner, but it's crazy. I'm going to have my husband. I've been begging him to do my makeup. I think he'll actually do a good job. I really do. He won't do anything crazy like most guys do. They just go crazy with the makeup. I think he'd do a good job. But I'm trying to convince him to do that. So that might be the next one. Anyway, so I thought he did pretty good today. So it takes a lot to get up in front of a lot of people. And especially when you don't know what questions you're going to be asked. And Anyway, so let's go to 12. Um, is this the Benetton? No, oh, this is the one I opened that I couldn't get open. So this is a Total Moisture Facial Cream. We opened this one the other day. So there's a little bottle. It's cute. So we'll put that back in. I don't remember. Oh, it looks like I did open 13. I think this was a charm bracelet one. Yeah. So we'll go to 14. I don't know. I'll have to have my husband put this on my Betsy Johnson charm bracelet. I'm not sure what it looks like once it's opened up. I don't know. So yeah, there's that. I like the little breath. That's cute. So, okay, so 14. Oh, and don't forget to change your clocks tonight, everybody. We already did ours. Okay, so 14 is, I think this is the, no, is this another lip gloss? I shouldn't have peeked. That ruined the whole thing because this is almost like a little Christmas present. You can't see it. I need to hold it up. There it is. Now is this the bent? This is the bad gal lash. Now this is really big. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of here. There. So I have one of these over there. Um, I got it in a, at a sample from um, Sephora. Let me show you the applicator. I'm wearing this sweater just because it's so warm. I I had two of them ordered. I canceled the other one. It was on back order. I gotta put it call and put it back on order. So it's probably gonna be back ordered even more. But this sweater is so warm. This linebacker sweater. It's freaking huge, but it's warm. I mean, it's really warm, so I don't know. Anyway, this is the applicator for this one. Um, I've been using the Lights Camera Flashes out of the Glossy Box, and I really like that one. So I think I might have found the mascara that I like out of all the tubes that I've tried over the last couple years. So, yeah. I don't know for you for those of you that haven't seen the bad gal la or the lights the tart lights camera flashes there's the lights camera lashes too there's the bright sorry um and the tube is really cool I know this is this is benefit so the this didn't come outside of obviously obviously outside of the calendar this was in my glossy box but the tube is really cool it's like kind of like leather so it's, it's a really interesting uh, mascara tube and this was like $23 so that paid for the box itself and then the next month's um, spoiler was really is a really cool black eye black eyeshadow I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that it's gonna be a it would be a very dark smoky eye you'd have to use a lot of white or you could palette it on your hand and take the white 
and mix it with some black to, to lower the pigment. It's really dark. But anyway, I know I'm off the subject of this again, so let me, uh, boy, my bed's a mess. Oh, my mom is going to see this stuff, and I don't want her to see it. She's watching the video. There. Move some stuff out of the way. Let me move a couple more things. There. Okay. Oh, well, that went on the floor. Okay, so let's open number 15. I don't want to open too many because um, we'll open the tarp, the, the other one too. A couple boxes on that. And then I'm gonna, I may do the San Event one. There's a couple that I am in absolute love with. Oh, I'm absolutely in love with. And then there's a couple, as I told you, this is a, be oh, this is awesome. This is a posy tint, and this is the one I wanted. This is like this, sorry, I have a blanket wrapped around me because I'm cold. Anyway, this is the um, illuminator that came in my Britain box from Glossy Box, and I absolutely love it. And um, there was another illuminator that was out, that came out of this um, advent calendar that I've been unloading early, of course. Um, anyway, this posy tint I've been wanting the full size for a long time. I just haven't spent the money. Um, it's a beautiful color. Excuse my nails. But there's the color. Um, it's almost the same color as, as my lipstick. I'm wearing the Nicki Minaj again. But it just gives you that like pinch look on your cheeks. It's absolutely beautiful. You just swipe it on your cheeks a little bit. And then the blush that I'm wearing today is the same. It's the fine one one. Um, I prefer to brush it in instead of using my hand. Let me put it. <clears throat> excuse me. Did that come out of 15? Yeah. Let me put it back in here. So I was hoping I'm, maybe I, Santa will put a posy tint in my um, stocking. But Santa's not real up with makeup. But anyway. So yeah, I just I put it in, rub it in with a brush. It's easier since it's wet to rub it in with a brush than it is to um, rub it in with your fingers. It's messier that way too. So uh, let's see something else. Oh yeah, and this is the blush, the fine one one that I was was wearing this morning. I think I showed you the other day. I just unroll it. It's got its unique shape. There's the colors. There's like the baby pink, the watermelon, and the peach. So yeah, they say you can wear this on your lips too. But I love this blush, so I just put it on. This side looks like it needs a little. And you just sweep it up. It's like a creamy, creamy blush, and that's how it goes on. You always need more, more on camera. Seems like I get on and I look so pale. It's crazy. But so there's that. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to opening this box. I heard there was another advent calendar that's a full size. I'm dying to find it. I don't know how much it's going to be. Whoa, whoops, I dropped this. But um, we shall see. Okay, so there's how that goes on. I showed you guys the other day. So. Okay, let's open a couple more boxes and stop because this one's almost emptied out. I've left the products inside of it. So here's number 16. Come on. My honey's out there watching football. I didn't know there was a game on today. Or I should have known, I guess. Let's see. Oh, this oh, this is a wow. Another uh this is hula. Now, is this I should know. Is this a blush? Oh, this is a bronzer. Okay, I knew there was a bronzer and a blush. So this is a pretty good size sample. So um, now the best time for bronzers is not really summertime. I mean wintertime. Summertime is the best time for a bronzer. But if you're tan, um, the winter is another is is not the best. If you're pale, um, if you know how to apply a bronzer, you, it can work per perfectly with red lipstick. It, it would look beautiful. Um, let me see if I can get this open. There's the sample. It says hula on it, right there. Just looks like a, like it, this is actually not a really dark bronzer, so it would be easier to work with. 
I've had some that are really dark and you can just barely you want to hit it where the, where the sun hits you like over your bridge of your nose your cheekbones kind of around your your jawline and maybe a little bit down your deglate and that's perfect a little bit sweep a little over your forehead so yeah there's that that's pretty awesome that's so that's bumps the value up between this the blush I don't remember what box the blush was in, so let's keep going because we have the Ciate to open too. So let's open one more, number 17. I usually do a week at a time, but we only have a week left, so. Not going to bed, are you, honey? Okay, this is the Sugar Bomb. Now, I have one of these put away. I tried to review my lip glosses the other day. This one is absolutely beautiful on. It's not sticky. I don't really like the applicator, but um, here's what it looks like. It's kind of a bronzy color. Yeah. And when you put it on, let me just rub it in a little bit with my finger. That's if you applied it a couple times, that's what it would look like on your lips. So it's pretty. Um, doesn't have any, I don't think it has any taste or scent. So yeah, there's that sugar bomb. I just love some of Benefit's pro products. They're just the, in the cutest packaging. I don't know if you've ever tried any of their scents, but they come in like little apartments and they are in the cutest little bottles. Oh, I love Benefit. That in a um, clinic and anyway, so let's open 18 and that's a full week and then we'll I've got to stop because then we've just got one week left so that's that's bumming and uh, I may save this week for my vlogmas when I start. Now this one is a sunbeam. So this one is is this another illuminator or is this a bronzer? This is a golden bronzer. So this is a liquid bronzer. These are a little bit harder to work with, but, and they're smaller samples, but actually, believe it or not, a lot comes out of here. So there is, there's what it looks like, and I'll just swatch it real quick here on my hand. So there, you barely see it right there. It's just like flesh tone. And when you're as pale as I am, but I don't want my skin to get wrinkled, so I'd rather be pale, believe me. If I if I'm in a tan, I will do the self tanning deal because as you get older, wrinkles are very important. Believe me. Anyway, so there's that. Let's open the ciate. So here's the other ad advent calendar. I'm a little disappointed. This one, the like I said, doesn't have the little bows on it like the other one did but it's still cute. Now I don't remember, I know I was in a rush to get this thing closed. We opened one and I wish the numbers were in order. We opened one which was a um, like a, a clear with little sparkles in it. You can see it. And then we opened uh, two which is a beautiful Christmas red. And we opened uh, do we open three? Yes. Three is a white. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a French manicure. And then we opened four, which was a pink. No, that was a caviar, which I have never seen in my life. I opened it up and spilled it in the computer. These are little tiny, little tiny, uh, you, you'd think you would put them on cookies, but they're loose, and that's what the funnel up here is for. I'm not quite sure I should I should know, but I'm not really into nail art since I get my nails done. But anyway, there's that. And then I think we opened five. So let's open six and seven and we'll stop. So here's five. It's a beautiful, beautiful, it almost matches my sweater. The other sweater that was on back order, on t it, the top part of it was this color. So if I call, it'll probably be even on lo a longer back order. I'll be disappointed. But this sweater, I'd be interested to find out if this sweater is, if this is an actual small petite. If you look down, it's crazy. I'm just sitting, but look at how wide it is. It's crazy. Maybe it's supposed to be pinstriped. I don't know. 
anyway but it, it's really warm that I know that um, I've never had it well I have one other cashmere sweater it's really tight um, and I like them you know kind of baggy they feel loose and you can just wear a t-shirt underneath but anyway the other sweater had this this color on the top half this peachy color and I just dropped it so we are at five let's open up six six and seven and we'll stop So let's see, we're seven down here. And this one, this um, advent calendar, I watched a, a girl um, open a different one. It had a different pattern up here. And hers had bows on each bottle like they do in the UK. I don't know if she ordered it from there. And it had the most beautiful denim blue, which I've been looking for. So yeah, this one doesn't have it. So cute. I can see my husband in the picture there. It's just strange. This one is a really pretty color. And it says behind the window, I didn't read you any of them. Sorry about that. These are so hard to get open. It says, in order to be irreplaceable, one mu must always be different. In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Coco Chanel. So let me open one more. So there's the color. This one is main stage. And it is a, I would say it's a dark burgundy. So there's the shade. It's pr a pretty color. Look good on your toes. It's not a color I would probably like on my fingernails. But this pink has got to go. It lasted about a week. It's starting to chip. That's one. Um, and that's a sore on my finger. It's not dirt. That's one, um, what do I say? One, one sweep over them. So yeah, there's seven. Let's, let's open eight. I keep, every time I open this thing, I say, let's open one more. So we'll open eight and stop. So here's eight. And then tomorrow, my husband and I will give you a shot of the tree. Um, it's uh, actually gorgeous at night. I don't know if he if he'll help me or not do it tonight. I think he's tired. If I don't, yeah, it looks like he's getting ready to go to bed. Now this is another caviar. This is caviar pearls, midnight in Manhattan. So this looks like I think what you do is you paint your nails, obviously, and then you you when the lacquer's still wet. I think you paint about three layers when it's still wet. You take the funnel and you put your caviar pearls on. You can slide them around. You can make a pattern. Um, up there I have one of the little uh, applicator. They're like little metal sticks that have a little ball on the end. Or you can use a toothpick, a low budget way. If you can't afford, you know, to pick up the little tool thing. So there's that. I don't want to open too many. I want to... I can pick that other. There is a box that um, sells out in three minutes. It's from Canada, and I have tried to get this beauty box five times in a row, and I'm going to get it this time. I have to get up at six in the morning and sit in front of the computer. But last time it sold out before I could get my password from PayPal because it goes through PayPal, so it's safer, you know, with all your numbers and stuff. But I'm going to get this box. It is an awesome box. I'm going to get it. I'm telling you, but you have to sit there and you have to sit and wait until a box comes up on the screen and it tells you, okay, bye, and you have about three minutes. I'm not kidding, and it's sold. Boom. It sells in the U.S. and Canada only. So if I get it, I will be stoked. So, yeah, I have two Etsy Christmas hauls. One is a limited edition. Um, should be awesome. And the other one is really really cute Christmas limited edition it's not too many things just bath bombs like I finally found a pine one I was looking pine is hard to bathe in um, I kind of looked around on the internet and kind of researched a little bit pine has extracts that can can damage your skin and it's just you have to get the kind that, that you're able to sit in the water in and it's rather expensive and a lot of makers it's just harder to work with to scent their soaps and stuff and you have to use a lot more to scent your soaps at least what I read I mean I'm not a soap maker so I don't know but um, I do know that um, yeah, the pine is a hard one to work with. So anyway, I will upload this. I will be back. 
hopefully in a minute or two. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. My husband and I will film the tree and get that uploaded so you guys can see it. I know you're dying to see that. And we've got lots more coming. I'm sure everything's going to hit Monday. Everything. I've got two Etsy boxes, my fortune cookie soap box. That launches the 15th. I've got another launch. Um, I don't know. See, that, that box that comes from Canada, they don't tell you when it launches either. So they give you about 12, I think at 12 to 24 hours, they email you. So you have to watch your email close because you can miss it. But it's bath, it says bath, beauty, and one other thing. Bath, beauty, and it's got candles, full-size candles, full-size samples. It's crazy, huge box. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to get it this time. And I haven't said the name to anybody. I'm, I haven't, I'm debating that, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Subscribe, subscribe. We love you, and um, we'll see you later. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.